Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica. Today we're going to talk about the new, upcoming new moon in Pisces happening on February 23rd of 2020. And we're going to look at the overall themes of this energy. And as you know, new moons are the initiating energies of new cycles where we set our intentions. Um, the energies are supportive for beginning new cycles. So um, we're going to take a look at the overall messages coming forward in the collective for this new moon and if you guys haven't seen the weekly energy update that i did yesterday i definitely recommend checking that out and i will tell you and those of you that have watched the extended know what i'm talking about spirit had some very strong strong messages in the extended um that you know definitely gave <laughs> I didn't give new meaning to the term tough love because spirit often does that, especially to those of you that are ready to hear it. But it, I'm sure that those of you that have watched it know what I'm talking about, but they were very strong, but very important messages. So if you're at all called to doing it, I definitely recommend looking at that video here and then possibly going over to the extended because you know, we're at a very interesting point here in this awakening and ascension journey. And this is when the shadow energies can be really playing up for people. And the shadow energy is really wanting to keep the us small, wanting to keep us from shining our light brightly. That's when fears and doubts and delusions really come into play. So um, if you've been struggling with any of that, definitely check out the um, weekly energy update for this past, uh, for this week from the, what is it? The 17th through the 23rd ending with this new moon. So we're just going to pull some cards and see what spirit wants to say about the overall themes for this particular new moon happening at four degrees of Pisces. Ooh, and we're getting forgiveness. Look at this redemption, rebirth and regeneration. Well, isn't that very appropriate for a new moon, right? <laughs> That's the opportunity for um, closing out a cycle that's been weighing you down. Um, maybe there's been something that has been holding you back, holding you down because you perhaps are struggling with self-forgiveness. There could be this feeling with this particular new moon where you might want to, you feel like suddenly just letting bygones be bygones. Is it really worth the energy to hold on to resentment and anger or fear even around a certain situation? Um, and just really move into self-acceptance. Um, acceptance and surrender are also one of the themes of this particular new moon because we're closing out a really long cycle of, of karmic completions. Um, it's been a theme in whether it's the eclipses, whether it's the different transits of Mars, Venus, uh, what's happening here in 2020, it's all very similar and, and, and been building to really allowing us to close out and to get rid of karmic cycles that are now done and over with. So we can start something anew. We can feel hope. We can feel excited. We can start something new with courage and confidence and it's really a new moon also about breaking free of previous restrictions that we've put on ourselves. So it's, um, it's actually a relatively, a relatively nice energy with this new moon. It's also an energy of karmic goodbyes. So let's see what we have here. We have prosperity lies ahead. See, we're getting a new moon energy. Um, so this is something, this is a, the new moon in Taurus energy, which is all about something tangible, something reliable. Um, you're going in a good, beautiful new direction, but it is about a rebirth and a regeneration and redemption. So it's like you, there's definitely the energy and this message came through in the weekly reading, but about making things right, making things right in a situation and, and being rewarded for the risk that you will take in order to, to mend fences with whoever that is in your world. And let's see what else we have. See, and we have gentleness. See, this is the sunset. This card has been coming up a lot recently when I've been doing these because this is about 
some, the sun is setting on a situation that may have been difficult and we're now moving into that softness, that gentleness, that kindness. This is about really reflecting back and saying, you know what, is it really worth all this hassle and challenge in the end? Or can we just be gentle with each other? So when we're getting the gentleness and forgiveness card plus the new moon energy with Taurus, it does feel like there's a big message of closing out something that's been fraught with either conflict, difficulty, challenges, fears, illusions, all of it, to start something tangibly brand new. Okay, that tea is super hot. That was not ready to be drank yet. All right, so let's go and see. Let's actually get, take a look at this, what's closing out karmically theme. For the collective, what kinds of things are closing out karmically in the collective with this new moon? Oh, see, some of you are walking away from something. Um, walking away and moving towards your emotional fulfillment, your happiness. Trusting your intuition and becoming enlightened. And you, you becoming enlightened and you've really come. This is the this is the karmic journey right here within three tarot cards. Moving away from something in order to go towards your emotional fulfillment, trusting your intuition, even though you don't know, you may not know where you're going, you may not have all the answers, but you're just trusting your gut. And because you've really become enlightened, you are completing some major cycle here with the world card. That's the last card in the major arcana. So we do have many of you leaving situations that... Um, the energy really supports leaving situations where you're really just trusting your instincts, trusting your, your gut, your intuition, your heart, your inner knowing, even if you don't know the answers, because you've just realized that wherever you've been is not where you're meant to stay. Let's take a look at what is being accepted because there is an energy of acceptance with the closing out of these cycles. So what is being accepted in the collective? What energy is being accepted? So we have the strength card, the fool card, and the queen of pentacles. I'll say for some of you, this, this is, this is looking like being courageous and breaking free on your own and becoming single leaving behind a relationship um, that's making uh, could even be a marriage with this pentacles energy something tangible but it doesn't have to be this can simply be you're ready to take a risk possibly with something even financial maybe you're ready to become a homeowner for the first time maybe you're ready to move maybe you're ready to start a new business maybe you're changing jobs because it's like you've been held back for too long in whatever situation this is applying for you in your life. Where it's like, let me out of here, let me out of here. You know, and you might have kept, your fears may have kept you stuck where you are. But with this full energy, that's ready to embark on a new journey and just trust. Trust what you don't know. Trust what you don't see. But trust what you feel. Trust what you feel. Because it's like... There's an acceptance here that it's taking courage to leave behind whatever you're leaving. Um, again, whether it's an, a, a job that's not fulfilling emotionally anymore for you, maybe it's a relationship you're leaving that is has run its course, it's over, it's not it's not doing it for you in terms of maybe maybe your heart's just desiring more. Let's see what changes could be evoked with this new moon because this is part of it too is um, what changes could be coming in the collective energies. Oh, uh, see, we have the Two of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Four of Cups. So here we go. Here's that forgiveness piece. You have the opportunity, the change that could be invoked here is with something that is mutual mutually satisfying mutually both parties are mutually invested now this certainly could be um job and career related with the pentacles and it's like 
you know, you give to a job and the job gives back to you emotionally. It's happy. It's rewarding because um, the changes are that there's a new start here, especially where there's, if you've been unhappy in where things stand in a certain relationship, um, friendship, love relationship, family relationship, you have an opportunity for a new, a new fresh start, a new beginning here. So very consistent messages coming through where it's like the universe is absolutely supporting letting bygones be bygones and letting the, the, the toxic heaviness and weight of resentment, anger, frustration, you know, focusing so much on the past, just letting that go. It's not worth it. Life is short. Um, it doesn't make whatever happened in the past. Okay. This is just a, a choice to, to let it go. So whatever's been weighing you down, this new moon is an opportunity to let it go. And you know, the Pisces energy, that's all about being very idealistic and being also very gentle. It's interesting because gentleness is also a theme of Pisces energy, which is like idealism, romance, gentleness, um, hope. And it's also about this, this, this new moon, there's an aspect of detoxification. So that's clearing out the things that are, again, holding you down, weighing you down. Um, so let's actually get some more cards here. And I will be doing an extended where we're going to be breaking down these energies and questions specific to masculine and feminine energies in the collective. Um, so how the, what's closing out karmically for the masculine, for the feminine, what they're accepting, what changes could be invoked, plus a whole bunch more, where they're taking risks, where there's hope, what they're surrendering, what they're detoxing. Um, all of that will be in the extended if you want to go more in depth in these new moon energies, but I'm going to keep going here for a little bit more. So let's take a look at what is closing out karmically in general here. Just get another message. Bring love into the situation. What was I saying, right? This is beginning a new cycle in something that you love. You're walking away from something that's not fulfilling you emotionally. You're trusting your intuition. You're completing a major karmic cycle because you've become enlightened through whichever cycle you've been in. You are now moving into something that is about bringing love, um, the energy of love, something that you enjoy, something that you feel um, is fulfilling for you. Again, whether this is a job, whether this is a relationship, whether this is, you know, you feel like maybe you've lived in a city for so long that you're kind of over it and now you're ready to just go on an adventure and move to a completely new place. Um, it could, however it resonates, but it's all about going someplace that is emotionally fulfilling for you. Let's see what's being accepted here with this strength, the fool and the queen of pentacles. What is being accepted in the answers you need are coming. So this is about, this is that fool energy, trusting what's going to come your way. Um, you have been it's taking courage to do something that you don't have all the answers to. It's like I was saying with this high priestess energy, you don't know what's around the next corner. You just have to do it. It's like the call of your soul. The pull of your soul is like, I have to do it. I have to make a change. I have to do something new. I have to expand my horizons and I don't know how that's going to look, but that's okay. So the acceptance is in that you don't know all the answers. So an absolutely very beautiful and consistent message here. Let's see what changes could be invoked with this here, with this two of cups, which is about, could be a soulmate, could be a love relationship, a new beginning and tangible new beginning because something's been missing. So let's see what changes could be invoked. It's like, this is the opportunity being presented. You and your loved ones are safe. See, this is all about home and family with this new moon and cancer energy. So what's interesting and beautiful is that what's being accepted is a full moon cycle, which is the completion, the closure. And the new moon is what is um, starting here 
which is a cycle that is safe to love. It's safe. Your family is safe. So if you're starting a new job and um, you're going to be okay. If you're worried about, okay, is this going to be, am I going to be able to pay my bills? Am I going to be able to support my family doing this new venture? This is the, the change is that, yeah, you are, you're safe to do this because you're following your passion. You're following your, your heart with what really matters to you. This is about really putting your soul into whatever you're doing. You know, are you just going through the motions in your life and day to day living for weekends, living for whatever time you have? Or it's just like, or are you going to live from your soul? So beautiful messages here with this new moon. Let's actually take a look at quickly what energies could be challenging with this new moon. How could the collective be challenged with this new moon? The regrets, the reconciliation, and the healing. Um... You know, right here, this says it all. Here's the forgiveness piece. This is getting back to the energy of unconditional love. The challenge could be really just being so focused on what's happened in the past, not knowing how to heal it, not knowing how to bridge this gap, because this is, you know, the energy of healing, needing some recuperation. This is regrets, guilt, shame. And here is this energy of unconditional love right in the middle. And so it's almost like you could be challenged with being so focused on what's happened before and not knowing how to, to mend fences, how to bridge the gap. Um, but you're being given the opportunity to, and let's see what energies could be supporting with this new moon. What energies are supportive with this new moon and Pisces energy? We have the King of Pentacles, the Three of Swords and the Six of Wands. Wow. See, you have the opportunity to heal and reconcile with whoever it is that you're talking about here. Um, you have the opportunity to move past the grief. You're having the opportunity to be successful in moving beyond the past. You're having the opportunity for victory when it comes to healing it. So even though this may be a challenge, this is why the strength card is here. This is going to require courage and, and um, not letting your fears stop you, even though you don't know the answers. It does look like the energies are very supportive of you being victorious because think about it. Even if you have a situation that you want to mend, um, this is in no way guaranteeing that it will mend, but it is saying that you will be victorious in the long run by being courageous to try to mend this fence. Because remember, it takes two to tango and you are only responsible for your journey, not the journey of everyone else. And, and you are not supposed to hold back who you are and what you want to do because of fear of how someone else might receive it or not receive it. It's, it, that's not, you know, what you think of me is none of my business kind of a thing. It's like, I'm just going to be me. And if you don't like it, then you don't like it. But at least I'm good. I, I can sleep at night and put my head on the pillow knowing that I've been the best me that I can be. And I've tried. So my lovely friends, uh, beautiful energies for reconciliation, uh, reunions and, um, you know, really aligning with what really matters to you emotionally. So I'm heading over to the extended. The link is down below for those of you wanting to join. And there's going to be more information on the page um, to say what's going to be in the extended. And with that, guys, I will send you so much love. Until next time. Bye.